fix it don't worry about it um we're gonna go ahead and in the middle of those frames so maybe around frame two maybe frame three maybe we'll just move frame five to frame six so in the middle of that frame on frame three we're gonna go ahead and hit uh s i'm sorry hit i uh scaling then on the first frame we're gonna hit uh uh s zero and then left click to confirm that and then i scaling so what we've done if we added a, a zero keyframe on zero and then on three it kind of grows up a little bit and then on five it's still big but that's going to be fixed don't worry about that we're going to hit s uh zero and then i scaling there we go so now it does like this which looks pretty cool right so it gets it's really really quick it has little slices that kind of come up and then they slice and they go back down which is really nice so it's really quick you can't even tell what's going on it's like a little slice which is nice um i love that and then feral comes up too slow now so i'm gonna go ahead and grab our word feral right here and then uh, hit B to box select both of these keyframes, and then hit G to move them over to about maybe like there, right after, well, maybe right before. So I want these to come up kind of right here. So maybe we'll move them to about right there. Yeah. Yeah, so that's good. So the first keyframe of the text should start on frame two, and they should keep going until there. So like this. And now this isn't enough because the, the text kind of looks like it's coming out of nowhere, which is which is nice and bad at the same time. I kind of want to rotate this a little bit. So I want to rotate it a little bit. So we'll go on frame about 10. We'll hit I, rotation. And then on frame, the, the first frame, which is 2 for the text, I'm going to hit R, Y. And then just move our cursor up just a little bit. You see I moved it up just a little bit. And then hit I, rotation. Now, if I, if I you know... Uh, tap through these you can see what's happening here I want to move the the 10th keyframe up a little bit so we'll move it to about right there maybe frame 7 I think that is yeah um, so now it has a little bit of rotation which is nice looks a little bit more wild which is cool um, I like that maybe maybe move it over a little bit more yeah yeah there we go all right that is cool um, now what we could do is I kind of want to do this so I'm gonna grab our text so hit uh, B to box select and just drag all those over hit G to move them over a little bit I want I want to duplicate our our slices so I'm going to go ahead and shift D on our with our slices select. So shift D, we have two of them now. Right click to, to cancel that movement and then hit G down here in our timeline to move these slices over. And then we're going to play this. So now we have two slices. I don't know if you could tell or not, but let me real quick and move those over as well. We have two slices. One, two. Really cool, right? So that's a pretty that's a pretty neat thing. But what I do want to do is actually I'm going to move that over too. We didn't grab that one. Um, there we go. So now we have two the same thing, which is nice. Um, what I want to do is I want to flip this. So the, the second one, I want to flip the other direction. So it goes like l right to left. So hit tab on our keyboard and double tap A until everything is selected. We'll go back to material for this, material mode for this, um, and turn my overlays back on. Double tap A so everything is orange like that. Then hit RX 180 to flip them. And then left click to confirm that. Then hit tab to go back out of edit mode. Now, what we have is we have these... Uh, slicing the other way but you see the animation is still is is going the wrong way now so we need to fix that real quick which is no big deal because i'll just fix it real quick um so what we can do is we can actually do something pretty cool and pretty easy so with this value right here i'm gonna go ahead and open up the right hand side panel and change the x location and then just get rid of the negative sign hit delete then enter now you can see it's on the exact opposite side but the thing is we have to um we have to make sure that we we add the keyframe in so hit hover our cursor over top of that hit i and now we're all good to go we'll do the same thing on the other side so on the last frame we'll make sure this has a negative sign in front of it so negative and then hit enter and then hover our cursor hit i and we're all good to go now so now it goes from right to left which is nice and the other one still goes left to right so we have this which is really nice um i want to uh, just labor our overlays once again and then we'll play it again there we go. So I kind of want the word feral to come up um, during the second slice, the second sec the second slicey. So we'll, about right here, we'll move it over, hit G. Um, maybe something like this. We'll, we'll see. Ah, no, I want I want to have some time afterwards. Let's do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's nice. All right, so I want the word feral to pop up kind of quicker too. So I'm going to put my cursor at the front of the first keyframe for the text and hit S to scale, and then we'll just move it inwards a little bit so they, they move a little quicker. Like that. Yeah, I like that. But I want to ease this rotation some more, so I'm going to grab this last keyframe and hit G to move it over. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move our cursor to about frame 50, hit I, rotation, 
And then on the, this keyframe, the third one in our text chain here, um, I'm going to hit R, Y, and then just slightly move it over like that. R, Y, and then hit I, location, rotation, sorry. So if we play this now, much more smoother transition. I like that. So our end frame is going to be maybe frame 100 right there. And now we are pretty much done with this uh, motion graphic, which is uh, one of my favorites. I like the way this looks a lot. Uh, it looks really pretty cool. And I think I want to make this a little a little bit uh, smaller. So I'm going to move everything backwards because everything's kind of big right now. I want it to be a little smaller. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab our camera and go to the camera tab and change the focal length down a little bit to maybe just 25. And then hit uh, play again. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Looks pretty cool. I like it. So you can you can change this text to say anything as well. So we can have this say uh, text, or you can have it just say something else. That's great for you know thumbnails or whatever. But we can also have it say uh, "Touched by Kai." Hey, got ooh, the font doesn't work great for every single type of type of thing. So you so you might, might want to be careful. What was that the B that was messed up? The B and the Y are both messed up. This font. Not all fonts are great in Blender. Keep that in mind, guys. You might want to go ahead and do some custom text modification. I have a video on that. I'll probably leave that in the end of this video. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today's tutorial. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Um, but until then, bye-bye.